Hey guys, what's up? It's Swampy. Today I'm going to be giving you my second tutorial. Now guys, this is going to be a part one of probably a part or uh, two part series. Um, this tutorial is going to be on the splatter style that I sort of invented. Um, I'm not going to claim all the credit because what I did is um, I made this banner, but I took um, different kind of effects from different banner styles um so yeah so i'm going to show you how to make this banner how at least i made it i don't know if they use like i just took the visual effects i didn't use you know their techniques for it i don't think um I'd, so yeah so i saw these banners and i liked different effects from it um and i decided i would make my own style trying to copy the effects that i like so yeah so i invented this style um i guess you could call it a style um i call it the splatter style um for you know reasons that i don't have to explain um so yeah today i'm going to show you how to make the logo kind of splatter um as you can see this is my logo i still got to change that up um so yeah so let's jump right into it so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up photoshop this is what the logo today is going to look like or similar um, because you know you're never gonna be able to recreate um, the splatter that you did and I that's what I like about it because it's each logo that you do with this style is unique you're never gonna be able to recreate it um, see so yeah, let's jump right into this so the first thing you're gonna want to do is open up a new um, file I'm just going to name this splatter logo tutorial um, now you can do like 500 by 500 or whatever dimensions you want to do. I'm going to do 1280 by 720 um, just because I'm going to be importing it into a banner um, for the next tutorial. Um, so I just, you know, I prefer to be a little bit bigger. Um, and you're going to want to do background contents white. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into this. So now what you're going to want is your logo. Now what I did... Um, is I made a brush of my logo so yeah that's that was pretty smart of me I guess um so I don't have to like import it um I recommend you do that also it'll make your live a lot easier um or life's I don't know why I said live but anyway um so yeah you're just gonna want to do that Oop, make sure it's not on the background layer um so yeah so now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna click this little button down here to make a mask and hit can control or command I and that'll give it a it'll disappear um, and it'll give it an inverted kind of look so now if I take a white um, color and I, ooh, that was perfect actually um, and if I go over it as you can see it'll reveal different parts of the black which I do plan on making a style like this sometime something like that um so anyway um as you can see it'll reveal the parts of uh the logo if it's black on the or if you did the original one black um white will reveal it and if you did the original one um white then black will reveal it um so yeah so now it's kind of really simple you're just going to get a splatter brush or a couple different splatter brushes and put some splats over them over the logo um, and you're not going to reveal too much of it you really don't want to um, only like the basic shape of it um, so get well with this you only really want to reveal like I said the basic shape um, but as you can see I'm going pretty overboard with it but I have a fix for it if you do um, that's why I'm doing a lot more than I should be um, so yeah just keep going over it with uh, some splatters and stuff and once you get to a point like this um, as you can see I did too much and I'll tell you why I'm, I did that on purpose um, and I'll tell you how to fix that in a second um, so you're gonna end up with something that looks pretty cool um, and you're 
um, this is just the basic shape you're almost done actually um, this is going to be a really short tutorial so the next thing that you're going to want to do is switch to your <coughs> excuse me you're going to want to switch to black again um, and now get a, <coughs> a smaller brush um, and now go to like these if you did too much you can do this I recommend you do this anyway go to the edges of the logo and kind of make it look like they're a little broken up <coughs> or so it kind of fades um, pretty cool um, so yeah you're just going to keep going onto the edges break up the edges um, so now I'm I've got something sort of like that um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer now we're even closer to being done obviously I'm going to make a new layer um, and make sure this is underneath that layer and get a very small brush um, it's got to be really really small um, and come out like on the sides sort of like this um, you know you can rotate the brush um, just get it looking pretty cool um, so as you can see you can just kind of make out um, the shape and if you ever wanted to you know get a little bit more defiant um, just come back with your um, white brush and go over it make it a little bit black um, well, what's going on here um, this is confusing me I don't know um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is. Let me just respond to him. Okay, so back to the tutorial. Uh, um, so anyway, um, you can come with a white brush and make it a little bit more defiant. Um, if you want to see your logo a little bit more, you can fill in some spaces with just pure black. Um, like I want that curve um, now as you can see or yeah you can see my logo a lot more now um, so yeah just come back to your layer underneath and just keep adding some more splats Oops. Um, and the other key thing is you don't want these to be too big um, you just want them to be you know kind of just just extruding from the logo um, at max this this is the longest or the farthest away from the logo you want to get um, so it still kind of remains as a logo because if you get it all the way you know out here and out here and all this as you can see it breaks up the whole concept and it it just breaks up the logo um, yeah so I don't I you know you just don't want it to be too far away um, this whole Twitter thing is confusing me I'm sorry um, so yeah um, just keep going and got it oh that's how you get rid of it um, just keep adding you know some splatter brushes some grunge brushes might work too some cracks and all that um, uh, so just keep adding some splats and you will eventually get something like this um, as you can see like I said it will never look the same um, each time it might look a little bit cooler I personally like this one a little bit better um, but yeah so that's how to make a splat logo there's I think there's a couple of tutorials on um, YouTube already of this um, like I said, I saw his logo, um, I saw this guy's logo, and I liked it, so I figured I might 
figure out how to do it myself, and I did. Um, I don't know if that's the way he does it or not. It'd be pretty cool if it is. Um, so, yeah, that's how I make a splat logo. If you guys have any questions in the comments below, you can ask me there. Um, you know, you can tweet me at SwampyGFX. Um, just there's a link in the description to my Twitter. You can follow me there and uh, get updates on when I upload, what I'm going to upload. Um, and I usually am asking you guys what you want to what you want me to upload because I'm always getting like I said in my last story I'm always getting uh, requests on how to do banners and how to do thumbnails and all this um, so I think I'm gonna finally start to make these tutorials for you guys as I have been um, so like I said earlier this is just part one of a probably a two-part tutorial on how to do a splat logo or splat banner um, so yeah, you guys can use this as your personal logo and then continue and use it on the banner also. That's what I think I'm going to do. That's part of the reason I made this tutorial. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, favorite, do whatever you want. I honestly don't care. Just don't like, don't dislike the video. Um, uh, so yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later and peace.